uh, first off, welcome to uh, the Sounders. Uh, what was the thing that attracted you to the to this move, and and uh, what what do you hope to bring? Um, yeah, I think you know the Sounders is just a great club in MLS. They have a great reputation. Um, they're you know a winning team, and and I just think the team's been strong for so many years. So I think it's a place where I could see myself succeeding. And, you know, I hope to just come into the team and contribute, you know. Um, like I said, the team's, team does well in all competitions, so I feel like I could come in, help provide goals, which, you know, I think, you know, was a bit of a problem last year from what I heard. So hopefully just come in and, and make an impact. Hi, Danny. Uh, Jade Evans with the Seattle Times. Um, how has the week been um, in getting getting uh, situated with the with the new uh, offense that you're going to be a part of, or just getting adjusted to, to the um, the tactics that the Sounders are using? How is that? How have you been uh, adjusting in that way? Yeah, so far it's been good. Uh, I think last week was a little bit crazy, you know, with the the travel coming here to Spain, you know, getting to meet all the all the new players, all the coaches. But everyone's been extremely welcoming to me and helping me, you know, feel feel like I'm at home. And so this week's went great from that aspect. And then yeah, it's just good to to get trainings in and, and learn the different tactics that that the Sounders have and just trying to adopt some of those uh, those characteristics that they have. You know, uh, Craig mentioned that you and he had a relationship that went back to your being recruited to college. I guess uh, it sounded like he may have recruited you to UW and you went to UNLV, I guess, instead. Um, I don't know if you could just speak to the existing relationships you had with anyone here and, and what role, if any, that played in your decision to come to Seattle. Yeah, well, yeah, there was a few relationships. Um, my old, um, my college coach played uh, with Smetzer, so you know Smetzer, so I heard good things about him. Um, I played college soccer against Alex Roldan for four years in, in the Western Athletic Conference, so I knew him. Um, yeah, and then Craig, yeah, I've known who he is for a long time. We never really had a personal relationship, but he's been I know he's known who he is and I know that he was involved on a lot of that stuff on that end um so yeah I mean yeah all those people I think was just hearing good things knowing that they're good people it definitely you know swayed me and and in the end made me want to choose playing here hey Danny oh go ahead sorry go ahead Moz yeah hey just in terms of what you bring as a goal scorer are, are they looking at you Paraphrase and speak for the coaches here, but your style as an option, given that your size and your ability to kind of cross across the uh, the goal mouth there, some of the goals you score are always kind of dragging through the middle. Yeah. Are you, are you kind of, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, I mean, I think I view myself as, you know, a goal poacher, someone that could, you know, get on the ends of crosses, but also I feel like my probably my strongest attribute is, is through balls, you know, getting running onto balls, you know, from people playing it over the top. Um, so yeah, I think I could fit into that that system really well. I think the Sounders play a really attacking type type of soccer, so I feel like I could easily slot in and, and into the system. And you scored one of those goals against the Sounders, right? I, I tried it, <laughs> right? Yeah, I had yeah two goals. Two goals, I think it was yeah back in 2020. I got yeah my first MLS Player of the Week, so that was against the Sounders. <laughs> okay, did that Danny, come up in, in terms of your? Go ahead, Jeremiah. I'll, I'll loop around. Go ahead. Yeah, Danny, I'm sorry, sorry Moss. Uh, just because say your goals and assists per 90 is is quite high, but it has seemingly been the issue of just getting minutes. Um, have you had conversations about what more you can do to, to up the minutes from, from recent years at Salt Lake and L.A. and and kind of what your role can be here to, to get more minutes? Yeah, I think that's definitely something I want to do this year. That's what I'm pushing for and aiming for. And I think, yeah, you know, coming into the league, not as, you know, a superstar player. I came into the league, you know, out of the USL back in 2020. So it's hard to get to get minutes when you're competing with guys like Carlos Vela, you know, Diego Rossi and, and these big players that they pay a lot of money. So I feel like that's where that challenge came from was getting the minutes initially. But I feel like from my whole view and philosophy of it is I just try to do the best on the field with what I'm given. And so, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with, you know, the results I've been putting out there and 
obviously the goal is, you know, I want to I want to play a whole season. I want to play full, you know, 3,000 minutes, you know, 34 game season. That's my goal, you know, and we'll see obviously how that plays out. There's, we have a lot of great players here as well, and I know, you know, it's tough to, to come and get minutes in this league, but of course I'm going to try my best to, to get the most that I can. You mentioned a second ago playing against Alex uh, with Seattle U when you were at UNLV. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what was that like back in college? Did you did you facing him? Did you kind of already know? Oh, this guy's got a got a career ahead of him. Yeah, I think so. Especially because his brother was already well established in the league at the time. So I think <laughs> uh, everyone know who who Alex was, and he was definitely one of the top players at Seattle U, and he was always on the scouting report. Um, and then, yeah, and then also we were in the same draft class together, so we actually caught up and built a little bit of our relationship then as well. So now it's cool that, you know, six, seven years later now we're, we're on the same team. As a goal scorer, go ahead, go ahead. Thanks. As a goal scorer, I mean, it, that balance in terms of not putting pressure on yourself but obviously wanting to instant offense, if you will, you know what I'm saying, and in, in, in executing. How do you balance that? Um, yeah, I think it's tough, but it's something that you develop over many years of practice. And, and there definitely is pressure, but and I do think a little bit of pressure is good. So I like to, you know, I I'm definitely would say I'm a very harsh critic on myself because I want to, to do the best that I can. But also, like you said, it's about finding a little bit of a balance between you want to do well, you want to score every game, but also understanding that sometimes it's not going in or sometimes it's off, you know. So it's, yeah, it's about literally striking that balance right there in the middle. And then I feel like when I'm in that middle zone is when I'm playing my best. Danny, I know you talked about this a bit when you left RSL, but... Can you give us a little bit more about your perspective on how things ended and and sort of your, I don't know, if you learned anything from that whole experience? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to go into too many details with it because there's still people there involved. But from my standpoint, I love the team. I love the players. I love the coaches. Um, you know, looking back, you know, could things have been handled differently on both sides? I think so. But... At the end of the day, I wish them the best, and I'm happy to be here in Seattle now, and, and there's no hard feelings for me. So it was just, uh, yeah, just it, it could have been handled differently on both sides, and, and that's that. Hey, Danny, welcome to the Sounders. Um, question for you, this has been a bit of a truncated trip for you and a bit of a whirlwind as well uh, coming late, but what has the last week been like being in Spain, being with the guys, and, and getting to know your new team? Yeah, um, yeah, it's just been a crazy week, you know, uh, signing signing with the Sounders, then finding out that, you know, they're in Spain for preseason, having to, you know, get on a plane uh, and then travel, you know, across the world. It's been, yeah, a crazy week, but like I said, the team has done a great job of making me feel welcome, making that transition as easy as possible. And, and honestly, now I'm, I'm ready to go back to Seattle and kind of see where I'm going to be living and, and look for a place to, to settle down. Danny, I haven't seen all of the uh, lineups, but from today's scrimmage, uh, what what do you guys kind of get from that? Um, and I didn't, I didn't when I say the lineups, I didn't see if you were actually able to participate in any one of those friendlies. But um, can you kind of give a little feedback on, on today's matches? Yeah, um, yeah, well, I have a little bit of a knock, um, so that's why I didn't play in today's game. But I played, it, I think, twenty five minutes in the last friendly. So, but I think um, all these games have been good. I think preseason is really just about getting fitness, uh, try to get sharpness. You know, a lot of us were not playing in, in full games for a long time. So, I, from that standpoint, I think the preseason's been a success. You know, we're here to to get minutes, lots of it, and and to get acclimated back to, you know, what it's like to play at a high level. So from that standpoint, it's been really good. You know, Danny, you sort of alluded to this a little bit, but uh, how did the, how quickly did the, the deal come together? Like, was this something that has been in the works with your involvement all off season or was it something that maybe came together uh, closer to the actual signing? Um, 
I would say somewhere in the middle, or it was maybe around Christmas time where I was hearing rumors that, that it could possibly be happening, but I was talking to a few other teams as well and kind of narrowing down what I think would be the best fit for me and what would be the best option. And then, you know, maybe a week before it was announced, I don't remember the exact date, but we had, we had negotiated with Craig and, and came to a deal, and then it was done. And then I was figuring out I was coming to Spain for preseason. So I guess you didn't know, you didn't really know, like you weren't mentally prepared to be coming to Spain up until the point that you, like you basically had to just pack bags and, and head out, it sounds like. Right. It was like I, it's, I was going to be signing with the team and then <laughs> figuring out that I was going to be ha- hopping on a plane to Spain. So yeah, it was all, it all happened pretty fast. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Any other final questions for Danny here? Well, Danny, what, where where were you at that time when you knew you had to, to hop the plane? What city did you come from? Uh, I was I was in Salt Lake City, so I was still there, just in my apartment. Uh, yeah, and then I got the call and was very happy.